What's up, freaks? This is Steve Does, episode number 19. This is a show all about health, fitness, nutrition, your workouts, your training, your strength training, your muscle building, your fat loss, your weight loss, supplementation, all that good stuff, all freak health, fitness type stuff. And today we're going to talk about how to structure, organize, and plan your strength training routines. And specifically, how to have variety in it. How to keep it simple, but how to create it so it's always different, always changing, always challenging you. Because there's, there's one thing I can't fucking stand. Like, listen, if you had to do the same workout, or if you knew if you did the same workout, let's say you just did push-ups and jumping jacks every day for five days a week, and you knew you'd get in shape and lose shitloads of weight, like, you just do what you have to fucking do. Not saying you have to keep it that boring and that simple, but I get sick of hearing that people are bored or whatever other bullshit excuses they have for not staying consistent. It's just about consistency. It's discipline and consistency. That's it. And energy. A little bit about focus and the mindset of what you bring into it. So, but for those people, this is this, this is for those people who get bored and whatever else to like if, if again, if you saw my workouts especially my strength workouts, you'd you think they're boring as fuck. And it's very simple. Like, let's say a, a weightlifting workout, a strength workout with dumbbells. Use dumbbells a lot more than barbells. It's just the way it is, just what I have access to more often. It's just, it just works better. So let's say dumbbells. Let's take the six, six, say six basic movements of flat chest press, bent over row, squat, deadlift, incline chest press, and let's add in shoulder press and bicep curls, whatever. So, and you can add another leg exercise if you want to. It doesn't matter. Let's just say six, a push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. So six exercises. You can take those six. Let's call it the push number one, your flat chest press, your lower, your squat, your pull, your bent over row. The next push, either incline chest press or shoulder press, your lower, which is more hamstring and glute deadlift. And then your other pull, let's say bicep curl. Let's use those six right there. So the push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. Just those six exercises. You can stick with those six and just tweak little tiny things in both rep ranges, in the order of the exercises, the way that you're doing those exercises, meaning and we'll get into that in a second, alternating arms, single arms, all that stuff. So let's just go, just order the exercise. Let's say before we even change anything, it's all just regular double arm, press, row, shoulder press, whatever, bicep curl, holding the dumbbells here or a heavy one here, it doesn't matter for a squat, deadlifts, holding the pairs in front of you, right? So six exercises, push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. So again, it's chest press, squat, row, shoulder press, deadlift, bicep curl, just the basics. Now, just those six simple exercises, and that's really what, that's my Wednesday lifting routine. Based off those six, and then add in other stuff like incline press or another lower body exercise, maybe some triceps. Usually I don't do much triceps with dumbbells. That's just me, but whatever. Let's just take those six in the basic form. You can do a workout where you're doing just one exercise, right? So you could do chest press. Take a break. Chest press. Take a break, chest press, take a break, all right? So that's just single sets. You can do them as single sets. You can do it as supersets, which is two exercises in a row. So you could do, and let's stick with that order, push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. So the first two, you'd hit exercises one and two back to back. Chest press, squat, break. Chest press, squat, break. Chest press, squat, break. You hit that for many other times. So now that's supersets, groups of two. You can do triceps, groups of three. So you're gonna go push, lower, pull, which is chest press, squat, bent over row, break. Then chest press, squat, bent over row, break. And then after that, obviously you would hit four, five, six, which was shoulder press, deadlift, bicep curl, break. So after you hit group A, you'd hit group B. You could also go all six, and I call it a hex set, six exercise. That's all six straight through. Push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. So you're gonna go chest press, right to squat, right to bent row, right to incline, right to deadlift, right to bicep curl, then a break. So you're hitting all six. So there alone, just that, we talked, we did single, double, 
tri, and hex. Right there is four different ways of working out. Four different routines, just with those six exercises. Now, let's say, all right, you can switch up the order. Push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. We did a horizontal push for chest press matched up with the horizontal pull for the row. All I can do the next time is still stay push, lower, pull. That's not even switch, push, lower, pull yet. But switch, switch up one of the horizontals with one of the verticals. So I'll go push, lower, and then match it up with bicep curl that time. That would be three. All I'm doing is switching the pulls to make it be a, switching the horizontal with the vertical. So you have a horizontal push and a vertical push. Horizontal pull, vertical pull. That first group was horizontal with horizontal, vertical with vertical. So now you just go push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull, but you go horizontal push with vertical pull in the first group. Now all four of those, we just double that. We just now made eight workouts right there just like that, just by changing tiny little fucking things. We haven't even gotten into rep ranges, heavy weights, lighter weights, switching up the, the routines. All you have to do now is say, all right, one, this, let's go back to the first version of push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. The very first one with the chest press, squat, row, shoulder press, deadlift, bicep. Let's stick to the basics here. I could do that this week for my Wednesday workout, at total body, weightlifting, free weights, and do it with reps of 15 for every set. So I'm going to do 15 chest press, 15 squat, 15 row, and any one of those variations of the four we said. Next time I do it, I could do 25 to 30 reps of each lighter weight. It's going to be a complete different effect. The week after that, I could do 8 to 10. If you want to go real heavy, I, I don't go that heavy really often, but you go fucking 3 to 5, 5 to 8. Just by switching up the rep range, all those different main rep ranges, let's just stick to the basics. Let's say groups of 10, 15, and, and, and 20 and above. That's three different. So now you take those three different rep ranges times the four. You just made 12 different routines right there. And that's doing now the same rep ranges throughout the workout. What about the same workout? Let's go to the original push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull, six exercises. I, I, should be, I could be writing this out, but that would take too long to write out because this, this is just, it's just nonstop. This is a, a never ending. And we're on just six fucking exercises. So don't tell me shit is boring. Your body's used to it. You've hit a plateau. Plateaus are fucking bullshit. Plateaus are fucking excuses. Plateaus don't exist. Plateaus mean you just lapsed in your discipline. It means you lapsed in your consistency. It means you're not pushing fucking hard enough. Fucking plateaus are bullshit. They're fake. It's like plateaus are like the fear of fear. The, what fear is to the mental game, plateaus are to the physical game. And mental game. Shit, plateau is a mental fucking game too. You tell yourself... You put that label, oh, I hit a plateau. It's your excuse to half-ass it, go through the motions, not push yourself, not improve, whatever else. So those rep ranges. Now let's, let's take those rep ranges and mix them within the same workout. So let's say, all right, this first round is going to be 10 reps of each. The next round is going to be 15 reps of each. And don't forget, that could be single sets, supersets, tri-sets, or hex sets, or whatever four of those you picked. In the same workout, you can switch your rep ranges throughout the workout. You can do 10 reps of each, then 15 reps of each, then 20 reps of each one round. Next round, 25 reps of each. Next round, 30 reps of each. It's just, it's, it's unlimited, the possibilities you can do. We haven't even switched up the order of the exercise yet, except for switching the vertical and horizontal. We made that comparison. All right, but now let's say, push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. Switch things up. You can literally go, just flip it, go pull, lower, push, pull, lower, push. Doing the pull first and the and the push third, and then of course obviously fourth and sixth. Complete different feel of workout, complete different effect. Now the push is gonna get done after you've already done the pull and the lower. It's gonna have a whole different feel, whole different effect. Now you can play the same game. Switch up your horizontal pull with your vertical push, with pull lower push. You see how we're going here? This is fucking mind blowing, and you'd have to write this down. You'd be writing out literally thousands of different variations that you could have. Now, let's go to starting with push, but instead of breaking them up with lower, you could go pull, or sorry, push, pull, lower. Push, pull, lower. Which means you could also have variation of pull, push, lower, pull, push, lower, or lower, push, pull, 
or lower pull push. Now, every one of those variations, you can switch up the whole horizontal and vertical game by either keeping them the same and around or mixing it up and around. All those variations, you can do single sets, supersets, tri-sets, hex sets. Do you see this? how this multiplication is working? Literally, what we just went over in a couple of seconds is literally thousands of fucking variations of a workout. Thousands, we just went over. If you broke that down, there'd be thousands of fucking variations. And we've only talked about six fucking exercises. So don't tell me there's your body's used to something, you've hit a plateau, you're bored. Listen, bored is a fucking state of mind. Bored is a fucking state of mind. If you said one pair of dumbbells, you should be able to do that the rest of your fucking life. The rest of your damn life. And that's the same six exercises. Let's stick with those same six. And I'm telling you, if you did the math on all that, you'd be in the thousands by now. I don't even know, probably tens of thousands of variations. And we're talking about different variations of workouts. Different variations of workouts. Now let's switch, let's add in alternating your arms. Now you can do every single one of those variations with alternating your arms. But you can either alternate where they're both moving the whole time. You can alternate with them where you're holding the top position of the movement or alternate with them where you're holding the bottom position of the movement. Think about that. There's three different variations of alternating we just did. You can take those and mix them up with any of those variations of push, lower, pull, pull, push, lower, lower, push, pull. All of those different variations, we just now multiplied it into literally the tens of thousands of, of options off of six fucking exercises. We're not done. You also have single arm. You could do single arm the entire workout. And here's the, the crazy shit, right? Probably every single variation I've just talked about, I've done at some point in my life. I've done a workout with every single of these thousands and thousands of variations. I've done every single fucking possible option you could use with these dumbbells in the last 25 years or more of working out, of literally not missing more than two days in a row of working out. Now, you think of the, the alternating, you can mix up those alternating within the same workout. Meaning, the first round could be alternating where they're both moving. The second round, you could be alternating where you're holding the top position. Third round, could be alternating where you're holding the bottom position. Or, you can alternate holding the top position on the vertical pushes, alternate holding the bottom position on the horizontal pushes, and vice versa on the horizontal vertical pulls. Or hold the bottom position on vertical, hold the top position on horizontal. Endless fucking opportunities. And all we've used so far is a pair of fucking dumbbells. Of course, you want different weights for the different type of exercises. But if you had to, you could literally do this with, with, with one pair of dumbbells. It's all you need. We haven't even gotten to any other types of workouts, any types of other exercises. We're talking about a pair of fucking dumbbells. Six exercises, tens of thousands of variations. Tens of thousands of variations that you, that you can put together for that. Think about all those little break, all those different breakdowns. And here's the wild shit. This is what I was getting at a second ago. Over 25 years of nonstop of doing different workouts all the time. I've done every variation of those the other day. So I work out with Tyson several days a week. So when they're in school, it's not as many times a week. Now that they're, they'll be off on, on holiday, vacation, whatever, for a couple weeks, we'll work out probably a lot more together. So I'll go to the gym on my own in the morning. During, during on my routine and do some cardio after hit the sauna all that good stuff to so have my routine like three days a week but a couple days a week we'll, we, even when they're in school we'll work out together here in the dungeon in the freak dungeon the days I don't work out with him he, he if he has something after school he little shit will get up at 5 a.m to come work out alone in the garage I'll hear him down here at 5 a.m I'm, I'm getting up at 4 30 or 5 he's down here by 5 15 5 30 slang and steel before he goes to school or he'll just when he comes home from school Eat a little snack, get hydrated, make a little drink, and he'll be in here lifting on his own after school. Like, we're talking in a dark garage here by himself at 5 in the fucking morning. So the other day, like three, Monday, so a couple days ago, Monday, we didn't work out together. He had to do his lifting after school. So I come into the garage, I hear some, some noise out here. I was coming to hang out with him while he's working out. It's, it's the end of my day, whatever, 3 p.m., I have just some calls and stuff maybe. So I come in and hang out with him and do some reading or I'll shoot some videos of him or something while he's working out or some basic work, whatever it is. 
And he's doing this dumbbell routine. And I'm like, what's your routine? So I ask him and he, and he starts explaining his workout to me. And he comes in here on his own, his own motivation, his own fucking time, plans his own workout. Once in a while, he'll ask me, what did I do? And he'll maybe do that same routine. And literally, I can tell the routine one time and it's like, bam, it registers. Paying attention, focus, like sharp as hell. But he's doing this workout. And it was, I was watching, I'm watching, I'm taking some videos. I'm like, wait a minute, you just did the same arm. He's like, yeah, I know. So he did a single arm workout with dumbbells. So he did, and it's the same six movements. And it fucking blew my mind. I'm like, how did I never do that in 25 fucking years? Because now he just added a whole nother multiplier to all those different things we talked about. We're talking thousands of more variations. So what he did is, let's take those same six exercises, exactly what he did. Except he did just the upper body all together first. So there's four exercises, let's say. He did single arm chest press. Same weight, flipped right over, single arm row. He dropped the weight to get lighter. Did a different weight for single arm uh, shoulder press or incline. I forget what order he did. I did a little different than he did. So let's say single arm shoulder press, single arm bicep curl, and single arm incline press, whatever. All the same arm. Switching weights as needed, depending on the exercise. Then right away, flipping over left arm. Single arm chest press, right away to left arm row, right away to left arm shoulder press, right away to left arm bicep, and then incline the orders off, whatever. You get the point. He didn't do, I don't think, lower body. So I saw that. I'm like, this is fucking brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. I did an entire workout like that. Even on my band warm up, I warmed up to get ready for that workout by doing all the movements with the band for two full rounds, even on rotator cuff, all the right arm rotator cuff, left arm rotator cuff, then all my movements chest flies and, and buys and tries everything with the press and the row on the right arm, left arm. Then I did like five or six rounds on the dumbbells that way. It was fucking awesome. What I mixed in then was legs. Same idea with legs. I'm like, I never even fucking thought of this. Legs. I did single leg squats off of a bench. Then single leg deadlifts, holding the dumbbells, leaning over the waist, single leg. Single leg split squats where one leg is forward, one leg is back. They're both planted in place, just moving straight up and down. And then single leg reverse lunges where you're just stepping back with the same leg. So four exercises in a row on the right leg, repeat the same four on the left leg. Fucking awesome. After like five or six rounds of that, I went over to the cable machine and did the same thing on the cable machine, which I never thought to do before. Same exact fucking thing. Single arm, press on the cable row, flip right around a single arm row. And at this point I was doing high reps because I already got a lot of strength training on the dumbbells. So I was going to sets of 15 or 20, even a set of 25. I think I did three rounds, 15, 20, 25 on the cable. So imagine that fifth on the right arm, 25 presses, flip right around for 25 rows, right into 25 chest fly, 25 straight arm pullovers, then 25 bicep curls, leaning over 25 kickbacks, all with the, the cable at the same spot, so no switching. I just had to change the weights for, the, the same weight was for the first, first two, and then the next weight was good for the next four exercises. So a fast pace, drip and sweat at this point, and then do the same thing on the left side. That changed the fucking game, and this is, like, it just shows you, be fucking open-minded, there's so much more in the end. A week from now, a month from now, a year from now, I guarantee I'll learn something new from someone else, probably from these little freak shows. It's fucking crazy. How many options and all we did, we still only talked about six exercises. Dumbbells. You add in a barbell to the mix of the same game, push, lower, pull. You can now say, all right, my push is going to be with the bar. My pull is going to be with dumbbells. Or my pull is going to be with the dumbbells. My push is going to be with the bar. My vertical push will be with barbells. My, my horizontal push will be with dumbbells. Now we just got into the millions of possible variations of workouts. And it's it just fucking mind-blowing. It makes your head spin. And the problem is most people don't think this way. Even trainers, coaches don't think this way about changing up, switching up these variables. Switching up the order of the exercises. The direction of the exercise, meaning horizontal or vertical. Switching up the weights, obviously. Switching up, whether it's single arm, Double arm, alternating arms. So many fucking options. Literally, if you take all the things we just said in these few minutes and combine them and really had a some mathematician wizard put it together, uh, we'd be over a fucking million different workouts here probably. I don't even know. A shitload, that's for sure. The point is, and that's just six exercises. You mix in a barbell. Now you mix in kettlebells. You mix in bands. You mix in medicine balls. We're still just talking these same six movements, just different modalities of doing them, different pieces of equipment using Unlimited. Unfucking limited. And that's just your free weight workout. So all you need is a pair of dumbbells. Think of it, you gotta have a home gym, a couple pairs of dumbbells, one or two kettlebells, 
one or two medicine balls, one or two bands, you're fucking set. Maybe set up a, get up a sandbag or something to add to it, a jump rope. It's all you need. A mask. You could home gym. You could literally train with what I just said. That handful of stuff could fit in a corner, and you could do those workouts in the size of a fucking elevator, and have enough workouts through the rest of your life. And don't give me the bullshit excuse that you're fucking bored. It's bullshit. It's a bitch ass excuse. And it's a bitch ass answer. I'm bored. I hit a plateau. Doesn't fucking exist. All right, if you had any questions or need any help creating this stuff or creating patterns and, and things like this in any area of your life, in your mind, your body, your business, let's talk about it and see what type of program we could get set up for you. Coming soon in the next two weeks is going to be the Freak Mode 40. That's a 40 days, 40 nights of a daily discipline habit challenge coming up that will literally set the tone and set the place for your entire life. In the, leading in and starting off in the next 40 days. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's like no other habit type of challenge that is out there. It's completely fucking awesome. We'll be explaining it in detail this Friday on the Russian and the Freak Show. All right, I got to get rolling. If you have any questions, comments, need help with any of these types of routines, just put a, com- a message down below. I will talk to you soon. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. <laughs>